House of the Dragon episode 4. I can't believe how quickly this series is moving on but it's like because we're nearly halfway now I'm like wondering if this is going to be the episode where they age up the actresses and we have a big time jump. Um, I'll be sad to see them go because I think they're great both of those girls but yeah we will see. Let's go. My princess. Ours is a bond that has long endured. Since Lucas Blackwood, the grandsire of my grandsire, aided the dragon in his war of conquest. Aye, the Blackwoods truly turned the tide on that one. <laughs> oh. Of course, with the blood of the first men, our history is deeply rooted in this land. If chosen as your match, Princess, your day shall be easy and night safe under my protection. <laughs> protection? The Princess has a dragon, you dumb cunt. Hey! <laughs> I like that one. Uh, let us have the next. Till we may go to supper. Craven. <laughs> oh. We're leaving. See that steel, you twat! Send word to the harbour and have Captain Oswin ready the ship. Princess, would you invade a bridge in three days' time? So I could happily row myself back to King's Landing if I brought an end to this ridiculous pageant. <laughs> How do you think he would take it? Do you speak of how you rejected every suit his grace put before you, or how you abruptly ended the tour with two months remaining? She wanted to smile there, she's happy about that. She loves Damon. I'm writing that down. That swagger as he walks. Haircut. Add it to the chair. <gasps> you wear a crown. Do you also call yourself king? Once we smash the triarchy, they name me king of the narrow sea. Okay. But I know that there is only one true king, your grace. My crown and step stones are yours. Hmm. Is that like a weird power move to like be like, oh, I'll give you the step stones? Take the sword, like, hmm. hmm. Something else is going on here. The realm owes you a great debt, brother. I can't wait for the soundtrack to be out. That would be me at the no, buffet no, 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 table. No, no, no. <laughs> Our mother, she had no regard for custom or tradition rules. And I, sadly, was no great warrior. Congratulations on your victory. Just acting like it's old times. Perhaps Prince Damon would care for a tour of the gallery. Would you like to see the tapestry? <laughs> <laughs> he has no interest in such things. I'd like to see them. Uh -huh. Oh, well, then you should not deprive yourself. <laughs> I'd absolutely be sick of her. <laughs> He's out. Oh, of why? course you would. Damon looks genuinely happy to be back. How romantic it must be to get imprisoned in a castle and need to squeeze out to airs. Um, I don't know, I thought she'd grown to love the king, but obviously not. Kaya vuna kiri za turistorot, iove tretas. 
They always speak to each other in Valerian, these two. Dino de Malo Sud Fedila Mary is in Axon Toil at Galsog and Morgan Costas. Valusit, it did not the Mario Sud Fedila Sagan Costas. Abra Sud Vegitus. Or Pegni Erixos China, Nike, Nuvo, Pradasmo, Brazilia, Dele, Uno, Go, Daratex. Una no had a run near Picar Parise tax. The Parseri Morcacotas. I love the way he speaks, Valeria. I need the, I wanted to get married. We have traded a crab. Noises or just clothes. Assuming it leads to Damon, because the clothes smelled of like dragon. He just looks so cool at all times. Where are we going? It feels like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Friday night in London, to be honest. Do you wish to know your dead child? <laughs> Let me take them. Leave us. All of you. It's weird to have to have so many people watch you have a bath. Rhaenyra! <laughs> the realm's delight! A girl so young and so slight! Loved by all of her people! But would she make a powerful queen, or would she be feeble? Feeble! For the faith, and much long for a claim, he has two things Rhaenyra cannot. A conqueror's name, and a cock. Why? It's longer! Yeah, just a few minutes. And many of the small folk who like to believe that it is a male. They all should be the heir. No. Their wants are of no consequence. <laughs> and who might you be running for now? Oh. It's the Hobbit. Princess. Oh. Don't. You take care, boy. Next time you might not be so lucky. Pardon me, Your Grace. The King has requested your presence. But it means only one thing, doesn't it? Wait, why is his back all bruised? From the chair? What is this place? It's where people come to take what they want. Imagine taking your niece to an orgy. <laughs> it's happening! Contrasting with this, which is miserable. But that doesn't stop us from doing more than one. I should have let the Lord Commander. My arm. <laughs> God, I'm 
know he's gonna are they gonna he's do gonna... it oh no i feel like he's the rebound it could take quite a while to get out of that armor though <laughs> I think she wanted that to be Damon, though. The messenger brings word from the white worm. Oh. oh, you little snitch. It's like a little bird, isn't it? Like Barris's little birds. You never will. I want to stay idle. Wait, that's the same kid. But suffered. That same kid who just went to thingy, the Hand of the King, has paid her. So, the princess was spied last evening in a pleasure house. She was carrying on with her uncle. Oh, God. They were engaged in behaviors unbecoming of a maiden. Coupling. Who's that? And also, no, they weren't. Have this rumor monger brought before me at once, and I will take their eyes. As your hand, I must maintain trusted sources of information, and this one as yet has never led me astray. You think yourself a cunning man? Your designs are obvious. Do you wish to have your blood on the Iron Throne so badly that you are willing to destroy mine own? The thing is, the king's not wrong about him. Your grace. But the hand is kind of telling the truth but I like he sees through him oh it was okay she saw my father has made some worrying allegations about you were you with your uncle why do you care is she jealous oh I I haven't seen him in years he took me to the city for some fun tell me the whole of it Rhaenyra your father accused me of something you fucked David in a pleasure house. This is a vile accusation. Is it? You Targaryens do have queer customs. And Damon certainly knows no limit. I am the princess. To, to question my virtue is an act of treason. I only want to help you, Rhaenyra. Do you, though? I don't know why she's so upset. So you did not... Who that? Is Alison worried for her virtue? Or is she just jealous because she's not having any Dave fun? Never touched me. I swear this to you upon the memory of my mother. Oh my god. He looks like Boris Johnson from behind there, just staggering in with that hair. Jesus. Take your fucking hands off, Billy. <laughs> The king's looking pretty sharp. You defiled her. Oh. <coughs> Better first experience be with me than some whore. You, you have ruined her. What lord will wed her now in this condition? Who gives a fuck what some lord thinks? You are the dragon. Your word is truth and law. When I offered up my crown, you said I could have anything. I want Rhaenyra. I take her as she is and wed her in the tradition of our house. You are already wed. That didn't stop Aegon the Conqueror from taking a second wife. You are no conqueror. Give me Rhaenyra to take the wife. And we will return the house of the dragon to its proper glory. Of course. It's not my daughter you lust for, is it? It's my throne. Go back to the veil, Damon. Damon and Rhaenyra share the blood of the dragon. They are restless and chaotic. She swore to me that she remains a maiden. And I believe her. The thing is, their friendship's dead now anyway to Rhaenyra, so she doesn't mind lying to her. That dagger once belonged to Aegon the Conqueror. It was Aenar's before that. Why is he heating it? 
Oh God, I hope he doesn't. Before Edmund's death, the last of the Valyrian pyromancers hit his song in the steel. Is he about to brand her? From my blood come the prince that was promised. And his will be the song of ice and fire. Jon Snow. Responsibility I have handed to you. The burden of this knowledge. It is larger than the throne. The king. It is larger than you. And your desires. You've yet to ask me for the truth of what happened. The truth does not matter, Rhaenyra. Only perception. Were I born a man, I could bear two men for I wanted. I could father a dozen bastards, and no one in your court would blink an eye. Yeah. You're right. The double standard. But you were born a woman. Mm. Soon will strip me of my titles and name Egon in my stead. Your courtship is at an end. You will wed Selene or Valarian, and you will do so without protest. He's quite nice, though. The son of a sea snake. So I can be a remedy for your political headaches. You are my political headache. And what will you do about the vulture who perches upon your throne? What vulture? Your hands. He wants Aegon to be named heir. And he will stop at nothing to see it done. You speak of the Conqueror's vision and the need for strength and unity across the realm. But how can that be accomplished with your most trusted advisor so self-interested? Every lord and lady that calls for an audience has been self-interested. It is unavoidable. I disagree. I will do my duty as heir and with Sir Lane. But you must first do yours as king. You should just get that really trustworthy guy in. I've forgotten his name already, but... The one who always gives good advice. Your Grace. You went from being another man in Jairus' court to the second most powerful man in the realm. I wonder. <gasps> did he kill him? How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? Your interests no longer align with those of the realm. Your judgment has been compromised. Oh. Bye. I can no longer trust your judgment. That's the best decision he's ever made. <laughs> Although Otto will not take that lightly. I took great care in its preparation. If not brewed properly, it can either prove ineffective or else bear unpleasant. Brew properly. Is that the morning after pill? I'm sorry, what is that? Medieval style. A tea, princess. From the king. It will rid you of any unwanted consequences. Okay, so in this episode, it felt like I was inside a video game almost, or like a bit of concept art. Like, it was such a rich world, like going through the back streets of King's Landing and Damon with his hood up and seeing the big, well, the big, the little kind of show going on and whatever was happening, it just felt like a believable world. I just loved that. Like, that was probably my favourite part of this whole episode, just getting to go through King's Landing with Damon and Rhaenyra. And obviously, like, the fact that things are happening with them now even though I know it's sick like it is sick their uncle and niece but just we're in this world now and I just accept it in this world and I think it's great <laughs> so yeah um Otto just want to talk about him because it's weird like everything seems to be unraveling for him in this episode and it's just like a bit disappointing because everyone's seen through him so early on um and I thought he was going to be like this great schemer like Littlefinger where you know he's a bit slippery but he's, he's still maintained control and things always are going his way. You just don't know it because you can't quite get inside his head and what he wants um, out of a situation. Whereas with Otto, it's very clear what he wants. And yeah, and it's been taken away from him. So I'm like, oh, okay. Because he was so obvious about it. Like him saying, why don't you get Rhaenyra married to Aegon? Like, what a stupid idea. Like, of course the king's going to see through that and be like, you're just self-serving. So, yeah. I'd, so now I'm thinking Otto 
He's not just going to accept that. I feel like he's going to do something awful. But does he have enough power on his own to to do anything that significant? I don't know. Or he's just going to kill the king? Poison him? I don't know. I don't even know if he can get back into the same room as the king at this point. So, yeah. Oh, no. Otto might use his daughter. He might manipulate her and use her as a chess piece now. Because she's the only one, like, she's the closest to the king. Oh, okay. So what I think will happen, she, he's going to get her to convince the king to make her son the heir. Then she will kill the king. And then the son will become king. And then Otto's kind of hand of the king again and, like, in control. That is a theory I've just thought of. And I don't know if it's a good one. <laughs> also, when she was getting upset about Rhaenyra and Damon and that rumour, I... Oh, I automatically thought, well, she's just upset and jealous because she can't do that. Because she's duty-bound, like, she has to be with the king and only the king. Whereas Rhaenyra's, like, doing what makes her happy, basically. And, yeah, I just wondered if she kind of resented that then. Or if she genuinely cared about Rhaenyra's reputation. But it, it just didn't... I think it was a jealousy thing. Personally. <laughs> anyway, Rhaenyra made such a good point with the king, like... Or was it Damon? We're the house of the dragon, so what we say goes. So, But the king is so concerned with like other people and how they might weaken the house. But it's like, I think Rhaenyra and Damon are more of the opinion that let's just use force. We've got dragons. And I agree. <laughs> I don't know if I would make a very good queen, because I think I'd just use force and then everyone would kill me. Rise up against me. Anyway, really great episode. I can't wait for the next one, so I will see you then.